what is up everybody? My name is Star Lords. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Before we actually get into today's video, I do apologize if I stutter or kind of anything like that or kind of mess up my words. I was actually up late last night till 6 a.m. in the morning, obviously, making email accounts just so I could have a, a better chance at actually getting you guys some codes for Fortnite Mobile. Um, anyway, before we actually get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like. And also, if you're new here, come subscribe, turn on notifications to get the best glitches, tips, guides, videos, all that kinds of stuff on Fortnite Mobile and Fortnite in general. Uh, so today's video, we're actually going to be going over a lot of important information that you may not know about Fortnite Mobile. A lot of this information is actually very important, so please do stay tuned throughout the whole video as it is like I said, very, very important. Like, some of this stuff you guys definitely or may not even know. I know for a fact that I saved a lot of people a lot of money the other day just by stating one of these facts. Uh, so before we actually uh, get in, I'm going to be showing you a load of tweets from a couple of Epic employees. I'm also going to be going over what actual platforms the Fortnite mobile device um, or the, what kind of devices the Fortnite mobile game can actually run on because it, there seems to be a lot of confusion about that. So I'm going to start off with what iPhone devices or iPads or Apple devices does Fortnite Mobile run? Uh, so here, a direct quote from Epic themselves. It says here, if you're an iOS user, you'll need to be running at least iOS 11 on your iPhone 6S, iPad Mini 4, iPad Pro, iPad Air 2, and the 2007 iPad or newer. So any phone from the iPhone 6S, iPad Mini 4, iPad Pro, iPad Air 2, and any of the 2017 iPads that came out and higher, you can then go on Fortnite Mobile. So for those of you who do not have at least an iPhone 6S or one of those iPad Minis, I am very sorry guys, but your phone may not actually be eligible for the actual game itself. This is just because over the last couple of years, phones have upgraded a crazy amount. Like it's, it's actually crazy to hear that this game will be running at console graphics on mobile devices, which actually brings me to my next, and well, I guess my first tweet that I'm gonna show you guys, which is seemingly confirming that this game will run 30 frames per second on mobile devices. Uh, the tweet is right now on screen and it is from an Epic employee named Arjan Bruce and it says, we have auto settings on iOS since we know the devices intimately. Basically the dude asked him like, will you be able to change your graphic settings in the actual game itself? And uh, this is his response. He, they, they have them on auto settings. But then he goes on to say, down the line on other platforms, we will have graphics, graphics fidelity settings. We also tweaked it so it runs a pretty solid 30 frames per second on all supported hardware. Now guys, I want you guys to just let that sink in for a second. 30 frames per second console graphics on a freaking mobile device. That is what 2018 is right now. Fortnite on a mobile device at 30 frames per second. Absolutely insane. Um, so for those of you who are worried that you're gonna get really bad frames or something like that, take note, the dude said it himself, it's 30 frames per second on mobile, it's insane. Um, other than that, we are gonna move on to one of the most popular asked questions, which I cleared up the other day and saved up, a, well, saved a lot of people a lot of money. Uh, so Ethan Bernard, I believe, uh, actually said on Twitter to the developer himself, Will Fortnite on mobile be one of those games that heavily favors people who use those mobile gaming controllers? They're the controllers that you can either set up to link to your phone or you can even attach to your phone to get a competitive advantage in the game. And again, Arjun Bruce actually replies to him and says, not supporting, and then in brackets, hard disable mobile controllers at launch. It was working, but we're not 100% done yet. Basically, we need to bring back console hood and gameplay in that case. Um, so basically, what he's saying here is that 
If you guys think that you will be able to bypass the game and attach a controller to it, no, you can't. They've actually hard disabled it from inside the game. So those of you who wanted to go out and buy a controller just to play this game on mobile, it seems like for now, you're not going to be able to do that. It's gonna be a long time, maybe even a couple of weeks, until they enable that option. Only because basically what he says here, he says basically we need to bring back the console hoods and gameplay in that case. So what that basically means is that, you know when you play on console or PC and you have the buildables icon at the, like above your weapons, you've got your, uh, uh, your map in the top right hand corner, it seems like that's not going to be the case on this game. The console hood is not going to be on the mobile version. So when you get in game, it's going to look completely, completely different. There's probably gonna be an aim button, a shoot button, a build button. It's it's gonna look insane, guys, and it's not gonna be as the console version actually was. So, yeah, very different changes indeed, but I'm very happy about that because I honestly felt like if they did keep the console look of the game on the mobile devices, it would be too difficult to actually do everything. Um, other than that, I do have one more tweet, which is kind of like, I guess this, everybody knew this, to be honest. Uh, Jack Frag actually tweeted at him and said, looks cool, interested to see how, con uh, how it controls on mobile. So basically how Fortnite works on mobile. And Arjun Bruce replies and says, control is one of the hardest parts. Outside of making Unreal Engine 4 and Fortnite run great on a small device in such less memory, Amazing what phones can actually pull off or amazing what phones can pull off actually and um, so there you have it You know controls are going to be the hardest parts about this game on mobile and uh, You know it's expected to because it's not just a point-and-shoot kind of game You have to build you have to jump you have to sync all of these different combinations together to actually survive in this game so it is going to be hard and basically guys I'm gonna have a guide straight away on how you can actually improve at the game. I mean, I'm a pretty good mobile player, I'll be honest. I'm really decent at any mobile game that comes out. I've been gaming since pretty much since birth, to be honest. And I will have a couple of guides on the channel on how to actually maximize your settings, how to put the correct settings on, how to just get the best out of Fortnite Mobile. So if that's something that you definitely do not wanna miss, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, other than that, I'm always constantly updating you guys on what is new in Fortnite Battle Royale. I am pretty much the YouTuber who breaks the news like two days or a day before everybody else. So if that's something that you don't want to miss, subscribe to the channel guys. You are honestly missing out if you don't. Uh, but anyway, I would like to say thank you all so much for the recent support on the channel. You guys absolutely killed it. I smashed like 3,000 subs just yesterday from one video. I also then went on to get like my view times crazy. So basically what it means is that the more views I get, the more chances I have at actually doing giveaways in the future. I mean, I like I can only ever do one or two giveaways every now and then because like I don't have that much money myself. But when my YouTube channel is so successful like this, like when I'm always like people watching my videos and everything, I can actually give back to the community and use a bit of the money I earn to actually go into doing giveaways and just random stuff like that. Um, so like I said, thank you very much everybody for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like. Tell me, are you excited for today? Fortnite Mobile is coming out guys, make sure to have as many emails as possible ready to sign up for this game. And also, if you haven't checked out my other channels on the actual, uh, my other videos on the channel, go and check them out, you will not be disappointed. Uh, but yeah, have an awesome day, enjoy Fortnite Mobile, I wish you all the best of luck with actually getting a code, and uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Starlord. Oh, see ya.